Uh, really, the shul does a lot more for us than we do for the shul. We do things for the shul. We do it because we want to. We want to do it for the community here, and we're not really looking for any kind of recognition. What's unique about Young Israel is that people are made to feel welcome. In shul, whenever my mother sees a new face, she makes a point of going over and introducing herself and welcoming them. And my father, just being my father, always had a smile on his face and is very warm towards everyone. We love you and we are so proud that you are being honored. We are glad that we are here to celebrate with you today. I obviously do not have favorites in the shul, but if I did, it would probably be Mark and Chava Kurtz. Mark and Chava, who have been here really since I think Ruth and I came to the community, embodies so much of what the YIPC is all about. Their commitment to Talmud Torah, their commitment to contributions to the broader community, their commitment to Chesed, their commitment to Tefillah. The way in which they carry themselves and go about educating and inspiring their own children is really a model to the rest of the shul. From their contributions to the programming of the shul, in particular, the incredible women's programming that has evolved around our shul, to the various minyanim and tfilos, to Mark's signature response to so many of my drushes and shiurim. So now what do I do? Now how do I implement what it is that you're suggesting? Chava's incessant time that she puts into planning the educational activities for the women on Shavuos and other times throughout the year with the Rebbe Speaks are really something we all look forward to. My children look forward to going. Their dedication to community is something to look up to. They're always there when the shul needs someone to volunteer, whether it's Mark uh, helping out with the Kedushim and cleaning up, whether it's Chava getting involved with the uh, education, the committee. education committee. There are people who always help out whenever, whenever anybody asks for volunteers. You always see Mark, uh, Chava, to uh, coming in, offering their help, offering their assistance, and whatever's needed in the shul. Once my mother accepts a task, her devotion is clear. Whether it's helping one of us kids through a challenge at home or or planning a shul event, it becomes her life, and she's literally thinking about it every hour of the day and night. And her commitment is to the very end. My father is just one of those people that you want to be around. Whether it's walking with him to shul, learning with him Shabbos afternoon, or even sitting next to him in shul, he always has this positive vibe and positive energy that you feel. And I think his friends and those around him feel the same. He's got a resident Shabbos every year. And He's on the cleanup committee. He helps kiddish. out with the kiddish cleanup, so it's very important. Everyone should help. He does a good job. He <laughs> set a fine example for all in the shul to, to contribute and to be involved and to be strong members within the, our, our own little community of uh, family and they are always there to reach out to new people, always welcoming and making our shul a warm environment to be in. The more that you give, the more you get. So um, that might sound cliche, but it's true. If you get involved, you feel more part of the shul, you feel more part of the community, and you have a say in what programming might happen, what events happen.